What up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go over what you should be doing when you're first learning how to program so you can quit being stuck and actually start learning things. When I started to finally apply a lot of these things into my own study, I began to learn at a much faster rate. I began to understand the, the principles and concepts of programming a lot better, and I was able to accomplish things I wasn't able to before. And these are critical things that you should be doing when you're first learning how to program because there is so much information out there. It is so, so difficult. So follow these steps and hopefully your journey can be a little more simpler. First thing first is I cannot stress this enough because I went through it in my own personal. Pick a language. Just pick one. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Pick one and start learning it. If you got to, if you got an idea of something you want to do in the future, then find a language that fits that to the best of your ability and study that language. You can transfer to other languages a lot easier after you have you really, really understand a language. Next, I had to stop trying to learn everything at once. I felt like I needed to know everything because there's so much information out there that I just kept feeling like I needed to know everything. And really, all I needed to do was find something that I wanted to do, something that I liked, and then learn how to do that. And what I mean by that is find an app, find a website, find something that you want to do and figure out how to do that step by step. OK, I make the HTML page. I do the CSS. I do the JavaScript and work through it that way. And from beginning to end and what that do, what that will do for you is we'll walk you through the whole process of building that application, that website, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And you will walk through and learn the things you need to do that specific thing. And you'll retain that information a lot better because you actually enjoyed it and you was interacting with the questions a lot more than you would if you were doing a tutorial or following along with somebody. Because I know for me, I did a lot of tutorials. And while I did learn some stuff, a lot of it didn't stick because I wasn't as interested in it. Have a plan. And, and this is a lot like having a why in my learning programming. What is my end game? What is my year goal? What is my two year goal? Have a plan. In the beginning, I didn't know enough to have a plan or know what direction I wanted to go in. And if I'm being honest, I still don't quite know exactly what direction I want to, but my path is becoming more and more narrow as I move forward with my learning. Starting to really like AI, machine learning, but maybe that's just a buzzword. We'll see. Focusing on your mistakes. This is something that I did a lot is when I would mess up, I would be really hard on myself because I messed up. And the reality is, is that every programmer is going to mess up. Everybody in life is going to mess up. It's super common. It's super normal. It's part of the learning experience. You have to mess up in order to learn. You, you won't ever meet a great programmer that has not made lots and lots of mistakes. That's how you learn. That's how you explore new things. You don't do it by being safe. So make those mistakes. It's OK. It's just a program. You can always delete it and start over. You can always save before you do it. You can always revert all the changes you've done. Learn from these things. Don't beat yourself up or over them. It's good. If you're getting stuck and banging your head on something, you're probably learning. You're probably learning a lot more than you are any other time. Another one is giving up too easily. And this probably goes in with the last one we just spoke about. But you can't give up, man. These things are very, very difficult to do. And you just have to keep pushing through. Don't give up. And this last one was getting connected with other people that are doing the same thing I do. Now, when I network with people and when I'm trying to accomplish things, the best way for me to do it, and probably you too, is by finding people that are living the life, doing the things that you want to do and copy what they're doing. That's the whole reason I made this YouTube channel is I seen people living a life I wanted to live. I seen people doing things that I wanted to do. And in order to get to that, I just copy what they do. Right. And I, and I don't mean like don't give your own style or whatever, but but do what they do. Right. If somebody's doing something that you want or they have something that you want, you got to work like they are doing whatever they're doing, because obviously it's working for them. And it can work for you, too. These are five things that you can do. that's going to help you in your studying, help you in your learning, help you get direction. And I wish you luck on this because this is a long, difficult journey, but you can do it. Keep it up.